And now, the general weather around Alaska. All right, starting off uh, today's show with satellite imagery, low pressure here moved northward overnight last night to just west of the Perbloff Islands here at 4 a.m., the first shot here. And then it started moving southeastward, bringing some pretty strong winds into the eastern Aleutians, Alaska Peninsula during the day today, as the next system out to the west pushes eastward in toward the central Aleutians. Otherwise, uh, not too bad over the interior, just some variable clouds around, but mostly dry conditions. And this front bringing about a quarter of an inch of rain to Kodiak Island today, and uh, front pushing eastward here, elongating along the North Gulf Coast, bringing some rain into the southern panhandle with drier conditions up to the north. And rolling this through again, <clears throat> second week low here developing south of Kodiak Island as this one drops southeastward, but this all sliding off to the east, and with just about no movement to the north. And uh, this system out here will continue to move eastward, but then a stronger one will come up uh, on Sunday, crossing the Alaska Peninsula Saturday night, as we'll see here in a little bit. And for tonight, low pressure, uh, the original one crossing the eastern Aleutians today, that'll drop southeastward, weaken into this trough here as the other one slides into the Gulf of Alaska there, putting the front and rain over the southeast coast. This system today brought winds gusts to 78 miles an hour to Nikolsky and 54 miles an hour over at False Pass. As that's dropped southward and weakens, those winds will come down considerably here as a higher pressure builds in. Ahead of this system, it'll bring gale force winds and a good shot of rain into the central Aleutian spreading in toward Unimac Island later tonight, early tomorrow morning. Just some isolated flurries for the northern Bering Sea, fair over the interior with temperatures below zero in most areas, anywhere from 10 to 30 below, all the way up to the north slope. And uh, for tomorrow, this low tracks eastward and the first front kind of falls apart. Another one develops, brings more rain into the southeast coast there, up along the north Gulf Coast, cutting off there mixed precipitation, Prince William Sound. So a dry day with some sunshine, south central Alaska, even more so here over the southwest interior down into Kodiak Island. Fair conditions all the way up to the uh, north slope there. Chance of some light snow or occasional light snow or flurries there for the eastern Beaufort Sea coast of this trough extending up toward Banks Island. And uh, again, this system here on Sunday <clears throat> kind of uh, moves eastward, staying to the south there. Another low center develops here south of, actually that's not correct. This low center stays back to the west. Another low center pushes uh, northward here off, uh, that's off the map, comes across the, uh, again, eastern Aleutians, western Alaska Peninsula late Saturday night and by Sunday afternoon moves up toward the Perbloff Islands. That's gonna bring gale and storm force winds with it. Could see some pretty strong wind gusts here for the Alaska Peninsula as that moves northward, depending on the exact track it takes. But you could see 68 mile an hour wind gusts there across the Alaska Peninsula with a good increase in the winds and precipitation here along the southwest coast, especially south of Nunavak Island into Kuskokwim Bay. And some moisture reaches Kodiak Island and then kind of uh, wet conditions back out over the western Aleutians with that second low back out on that area. Otherwise, over the interior, not much going on. Pretty quiet conditions, maybe some light snow for the eastern Arctic coast back to about Utagavik there. And a very weak trough could kick off some snow shower activity from about uh, say Eagle, southward into the eastern Alaska range with a few showers possible for the Prince William Sound area. This low center tracks northward along the frontal boundary here, but most of the moisture off into Canada, just clipping the eastern areas of the southeast coast there, actually the southeast areas really, just chance of moisture there with uh, not a bad day for Sunday for the central and northern part of the southeast coast. And then for uh, Monday, that low center pulls up to the north here. This one tracks eastward, or a new one tracks eastward here, much weaker low south of the Alaska Peninsula. That's gonna put more moisture up into uh, the North Gulf Coast, spreading increasing chances of precipitation, mostly over the Kenai Peninsula Cook Inlet up into the western Susitna Valley to the western Alaska Range. Periods of rain and snow along the North Gulf Coast, reaching the north coast of the Panhandle in the afternoon. High pressure over Canada, slowly giving way. 
low pressure here west of uh, Saint, of uh, Nunavak Island, that one moving northward there, and the trough extending out of that will put a band of light snow up across the Norton Sound area, right on up, possibly into the northern Koyukuk Valley, be very light up in this area here, dry for the north slope in the Brooks Range with some flurries along the Arctic coast, and then gusty west to southwest winds here across the central and western Aleutians, with showers becoming a more rain pattern here over the Alaska Peninsula with this trough. And for the lows tonight, anywhere from 10 to 30 below zero there, probably coldest over the Yukon Flats. Chuck Yitzik was minus 31 this morning. They may be minus 31 again tomorrow morning. Otherwise, uh, anywhere from 5 to 15 south central Alaska, mid 20s down toward Homer, mid 30s will stand above freezing there for Kodiak State Airport, minus six for Glen Allen, and in the lower 40s out over the Aleutians, upper third or mid low 30s there for the northern panhandle to mid 40s down toward Prince of Wales Island and for the highs tomorrow mid 30s in the north upper 40s to the south there otherwise in the interior staying pretty much below zero the entire day all the way up to the north slope a little above zero there for the arctic coast highs uh, 15 to 25 south central Alaska 34 for Homer and uh, <clears throat> upper 30s for Kodiak Island with upper 40s out over the Aleutians Sunday morning lows back down into the uh, teens here for South Central Alaska, maybe even colder up in the Susitna Valley there, maybe zero to 10 for the lows and five below to zero for the Copper River Basin. And again, anywhere from 15 to 30 below for the interior, even into the Kobuk Valley and uh, zero to five or 10 for the Seward Peninsula and lower 40s, so staying mild here over the Alaska Peninsula and in the 30s for the Southeast Coast. Highs for Sunday afternoon, mid to upper 40s here for the Alaska Peninsula. It's warmer air coming in with that low center moving northward there, bringing the warm air up in mild southerly flow there. Mid 40s for Kodiak Island in the afternoon. In the 20s, south central Alaska, mostly in the 40s to the southeast coast, rising above zero in the Tanana Valley, anywhere from zero to 10 for the highs, but staying below zero up toward the Brooks Range.